Dodge transmissions from the 90s are definitely not known for their resilience and reliability. We've got a 99 Ram 1500 and it is giving me problems right now. Will not shift from first to second regularly. Kind of sporadically goes back and forth between the two. Really annoying, but only in drive. Does just fine when you're going first, second drive. I think you know what the issue is. Today, we're going to address the governor pressure solenoid underneath that pan. Let's get to it. All right, so after you get the truck up in the air or on jack stands, whatever your case may be, you're gonna use a 13 millimeter, go around the perimeter, drop the pan. I'm gonna leave one up on the front so that I can tilt the pan back, drain all the fluid in this container. All right, with the pan off, obviously I've got to do a good inspection here. There is some metallic buildup on the magnet, uh, which is kind of expected for the amount of mileage on the trans, but not a ton of like fiber material and the fluid is still really clean. So I'm really happy with this. Let's move on to that pressure solenoid. So this right here is our solenoid. You gotta take this plate off. It's four bolts and two T25 screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and be able to pull that solenoid out. When you compare the new one to the old one, it's pretty obvious that old one was dirty. And you can see the massive amounts of buildup on that little filter layer there. That would explain the issues that I'm seeing. Which is great, because this is only a $30 part. Let's get that new one in, see how she runs. Now, since I've got the pan off, I may as well replace that filter. The gasket kit I purchased comes with a new filter because even the vendors are on the same page. All right, I've got the pan cleaned out using a rubber gasket because I'm not trying to do this more than once. A lot of people don't know, but this is legit just a magnet in there for your inspection. Pick up anything so it's not floating around the oil. Make sure you clean that. Now that uh, I've got this cleaned up, it's going to go right back in the car. The gasket and filter set was an Amazon special, and I'm really happy I bought it because the gasket holes were just small enough to where I could thread the bolts in to hold the gasket in place. It made it really easy for putting it back on. All right, and to finish it all off, throw some new fluid in there. Now I'm just gonna use some ATF plus four in this guy here. And since the trans was pretty cold, when I first started this job, I only moved it from the street to the driveway, and I only dropped the pan for maybe an hour. Uh, I'm gonna start with four quarts, go to level ground, put it in neutral, see where it's at, and then add maybe one or two, depending on what's needed. Now these hold about 10 quarts total, but you gotta remember there's still a bunch of fluid in the trans as well as the torque converter. So typically, pan jobs when they're cold, only four to five quarts. All right, I got it in neutral. Looks like it's on the low side. I'm going to add one more quart. All right, I'm going to see if it'll shift from first to second. Oh, perfect. Smooth. Let's try this one more time. shift looks like we're in business 30 bucks and now i get to spend the rest of my day cleaning up this mess of a shop slash garage until next time